It's time for our video with Danny the Puppet. I know it's a little late this week, but Danny has had some car problems and other drama. You make it sound so serious. I just had a flat tire yesterday. Um, all taken care of now. We are good. Um, figure I'd start this video off with letting you know this is my 47th consecutive year of not being at the San Diego Comic-Con. Um, wouldn't it be neat to imagine Danny the Puppet walking around San Diego Comic-Con, looking at all the displays and talking about them, interviewing celebrities with his witty sense of humor? Uh, but no, that's not happening. Um, there is precedent for this. Used to go to the Chicago Comic-Con all the time, filmed little news reports from there. Um, Never got up the guts to actually interview any celebrities, but it was fun. I kind of miss it. Uh, but what am I going to talk about this week? Uh, two things are on my mind. The first one is about high-end collectibles. And uh, what I'm talking about here, let's start off with the Thundercat Slayer from Super 7. Ah, uh, the Cat Slayer. It's really nice, but... $650 plus $100 shipping. Oh, and Super 7 even put up a post saying you should get two. One to display the front and one to display the back. Um, I don't know about you, but $750 is a lot. And uh, another $750 is even more. Uh, don't have that kind of money. Uh, it is nice. It's also very large. Um, I have some large toys in my collection. I uh, I have uh, Castle Skull from Masters of the Universe Origins, and I have a few Titans from Transformers, but this looks so much larger. Um, it's over three feet tall, three feet wide, three feet back, uh, about, and then it opens up and gets even wider. Um, it's cool. If you have the money for it and this is something you want, go for it. I think that's awesome. Uh, but this little puppet, that's a little bit much for me to spend on one toy right now. Uh, and I don't really collect Thundercats. So, you know, that's cool. But uh, if it's something you want, hey, nothing wrong with it. If you got the money for it. I mean, sometimes I think if I won the lottery, I'd buy something like this. Ooh, imagine having a whole Thundercats display. Uh, let's talk about the other high-end collectible they announced yesterday. Robeson and Hasbro have a Grimlock robot coming out. This is really cool. This one really caught my eye. It talks, it moves around, it transforms on its own. Similar to the Optimus Prime they released last year, or a couple years ago. Um, even has Greg Berger's voice talking, that's so cool. Uh, then I saw the price tag, $1,500. Again, if I had $1,500 sitting around and uh, it was something key to my collection that I wanted, I'd probably get it. But... Um, Somewhere there is a husband out there who just bought Thundercat Slayer, Cat Slayer, maybe two of them, and uh, and the Robeson Grimlock. And now his wife is probably threatening to leave him, or at least make him sleep on the couch or in the doghouse. So, uh, yeah, I'm not getting either of those. They are cool. Don't get me wrong, they're cool. If you have the money for that, go for it. Um, or if you win that, you know, Powerball lottery ticket that everyone's talking about. Ugh. But I do not have that. So high-end collectibles, I'm staying away from them right now. Uh, a little too much for my uh, wallet here. And let's see, what else I got to talk about? Toy side quests. Ah. Well, the main things I collect, uh, let's see, I'll start from the top. Transformers. Uh, collect Lego, though I've kind of cut back on that because of lack of space. Um G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe Origins, Ooh. and uh, dabbling a little in Ninja Turtles, especially with those cheaper ones coming out from Mutant's Mayhem. Nice figures, too. <sighs> but every now and then, I get caught on these what I call toy side quests. Uh, let's start off with one of them here, Guardians of the Galaxy. I wasn't going to buy the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 figures, but I found some on sale, so I bought them. And now I'm only missing Nebula and Kraglin, which... Doesn't sound too bad, except they come with a Build-A-Figure of Cosmo the Dog. And now I feel like I need to get these other two figures so I can get the pieces for Cosmo, who's missing two legs. My dog only has two legs. <sighs> I 
not good. Uh, the problem is I keep looking on the Amazon and they're on sale. They're not on sale. They're 25 bucks a piece. So if I buy Nebula and Craiglin, which is nice because I'll complete the series and complete Cosmo, that's like $50 right there. Whew. I got the other ones cheap, so I don't know if I want to pay full price. So I keep watching to see if they go on sale. Um, I don't see Craiglin and Nebula in stores. Do I want to spend that much for action figures that are a side quest? I mean, I'll set aside that money for something big that I want from the Transformers line. They're releasing a character I really want. But toy side quests. Let's talk about the other one, Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. I really like the movie. And these are nice figures of archetypes from the line of uh, characters from Dungeons & Dragons. Um, I even got Ed Ging, which was really hard, and Zinc. So I thought that was kind of neat. But now I'm missing Doric. The one character I'm missing from the line. I did pass on Hugh Grant uh, because he's kind of peg warming and I think I'm going to get him really cheap. But now do I spend the $25 to get Doric when I got the other ones for so much cheaper? <sighs> and to top it off, if I buy that and I buy the you know Guardians of the Galaxy figures, it's like $75 bucks for action figure side quests. <sighs> so I guess I'll keep watching the sales and see what happens. What else is going on in the toy world? Well, Hasbro's come out with a Transformer line exclusive to Walmart, the Toxitron collection. Um, my guess is that uh, Hasbro got a lead on the materials to make really bright colored neon plastic and figured they'd put to use the uh, old designs from Generation 2 that never got made. Uh, thankfully, this is a line I think I'll mostly pass on unless I find them on clearance. I may get that side swipe. He looks kind of cool. But uh, the other ones I'll pass on, which is great because last year this time, what they announced is the Velocitron collection. And you know how we were all looking around for Cosmos. <sighs> Thankfully, it doesn't look like there's a Cosmos in this line. <sighs> I did manage to get two of them, one for myself and one for a friend. But ooh, that is the worst toy hunt ever, Cosmos. <sighs> uh, I am looking for Moss Man right now. They released the Masters Universe Moss Man Origins, also exclusively to Walmart. Looking one for one for myself, maybe. A uh, couple for some friends, but uh, hopefully that won't be like searching for Cosmos. Looking at the posts online, it looks like a lot of people are finding Moss Man. Well, here I am. That's it for this week. Again, I am not going to San Diego Comic Con, but you know what? I have Dairy Con Fall Special coming up September 30th, Hartford, Wisconsin. Uh, I'd rather be at Dairy Con than at San Diego Comic Con any day. Lots of cool Transformers and really awesome people. So, Dairy Con. May not be San Diego Comic Con, but I love Dairy Con. Uh, that's all I have for now. See you all next week.